there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm glad that you're back here with me again to show you something that I've been doing for 30 plus years that it's maybe a little bit surprising to some of you and that is that I shave my face. And this is nothing new to me, so I thought I would do a video to show some of you, or all of you actually, what the long-term effects are of shaving your face. Because I have done it probably since my mid-30s because that's when I started noticing kind of peach fuzz. And in fact, one day my grandmother, who was an old Southern lady, well, she wasn't old then, she was, well, she was probably 50. She seemed old at that time. She said, Beth, your face looks like you're a Georgia peach. You ought to start shaving. And so she introduced me to face shaving. And I started doing it with a women's razor years ago, and I just do it every morning in the shower, and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. But I think over the years, there is something surprising that has happened with regard to all that face shaving. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging for us 30, 40, 50, 60 plus women like me, then I hope you subscribe. And if you click that little bell, if you like this video, that would be awesome too. Okay, let's get into this. And first, I will tell you, there is nothing that unusual about shaving your face and first I do want to tell you that it does not make you grow a beard like a man. The hairs do not come in darker, they do not come in stubblier, they are just little peachy type hairs as usual. I will say I probably have four or five little black hairs. The rest of the hairs are just kind of blondish on my face. But there are four or five little black hairs that do show up from time to time, you know, every few weeks and I pluck those out or I just shave them in the morning when I am shaving my face. But the thing that I think is so surprising is, basically, I started to do this video when I had someone ask me on my channel in the comment section, how do you deal with marionette lines? And I know because my sister used to have them and they go from here to here. And I realized that I really don't have them very much. And then I remembered that the other morning in the shower, as I was shaving my face, I thought, I am so glad I've shaved my face all these years because I think it has exfoliated my skin and really cut down on the wrinkles. And they always say that men who shave their face don't have the same number of wrinkles that women do. And that could be in part because they do have slightly thicker skin. However, they also shave pretty much every single day of their life. And I have done that since around the age of 35 and I really think it has cut down the wrinkles here. Now, I wish all those years I'd been able to shave under my eyes because I definitely still have my Marlboro Mans, but from here down, it is really not so bad at all, and I think this little guy is the reason why. So first, let me begin by showing you how I shave my face in the shower, and then I have some other shaving tools that I use, some other things that I do every week or two to get rid of the other hair on my face, and then after that, I'll come back and I have a few more shaving tips for your face face, including something that I use to get rid of those pesky nose hairs. That's never a good thing to walk around with beards hanging out your nose, and I've noticed that sometimes. But anyway, I will show you the other tools and tips that I use to keep my face very hair free. And another thing about doing that, all the shaving all those years, is if you start shaving your face, you won't believe how smooth your foundation looks and how flawless it makes your skin. It just gives you almost an airbrushed look and it's all to this little $5 razor. So let me go ahead and show you my shaving in the shower, but let me preface it by saying that you will see that I have some conditioner on various parts of me because I realized one morning in the shower as Alan was running out the door, I said, honey, come take my video of me shaving my face because he was headed out. And so I do have conditioner on, so I look a little weird. But anyway, this will just give you a little rundown of what I do every morning in the shower. Hey, I am in my shower. <laughs> I'm having Alan take this and I'll get my face a little wet here so I can show you what I do. But basically, I get a little bit of soap, a little bit of face wash, and I'm just going to shave my face. And I have done this probably every morning, almost every morning of my life since I was probably in my 30s because I started to get peach fuzz back then and I hated it. And it is totally not true that it causes dark hair or your hair to, to regrow in like a beard. But here, here I go, I'll show you how I do it. I just kind of go across here, really easy. And then I go down this way. And then I go under my chin, which I get some witch hairs down there and I crack my chin down here. I can really get some in here. Then I go down this way. So that's it. And I have to say 
the fact that I went so in depth on it with you, I really don't even do it that in depth when I do it. Usually I just kind of go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. You know, it's totally easy. I can do it in my sleep. It's no big deal. So that was a look at my morning shaving in the shower routine. And I think it really has helped to keep down the wrinkles. And you know, I used to get envious when I would see these videos of these women who would be saying, I have used Retin-A or Tretinoin for 35 years. And I thought, oh my gosh, wouldn't that be wonderful? But really, when I look at my skin and I look at the fact that I've shaved every day, I am really glad that I've shaved my face every day for about the past 30 plus, 35 years, somewhere in there because I think it really has had some anti-aging benefits. Now, to really improve the shaving experience though, to get the hair off on the other part of my face, you can either use a tinkle razor, which I do sometimes when I'm in a hurry. I, I keep these in my little drawer there, and you just take them out, especially if you've maybe forgotten to shave in the morning and you realize, oh, got a little bit of hair there. And I do tend to grow a few more hairs here, but it is not from shaving my face. It's just because I am 63 years old. But here's another thing that I've been using. I love this. You do not have to buy this because you can get the same results using the Tinkle Razor. This is the Sonic Smooth 2-in-1 Sonic Dermaplaning System. And here is the little dermaplaner. And in just a few minutes, I'll show you how this works. But I do this probably every week or every other week. I would say mostly every other week. But I do it on my neck. I do it on my forehead. I even do it sometimes in my under eye area to get those stray little downy hairs that you get in your eyebrow area. And then I use this on my nose hairs. And I absolutely love this. And I will link it below. And I think in the video, I am actually showing you how I use this as well. So without further ado, let me show you my dermaplaning. I love this, especially if you're going out for a special evening, because after you do this, your foundation goes on so beautifully and you just have that little extra kind of a shine to you. It's wonderful. Okay, let me go ahead and I'll show you everything. First, I pluck a few stray eyebrows and I do this every day. So it's really not usually something that um, I need to, to spend a whole lot of time at. So there's a big, bad gray one. Good, got it. Ooh, it's a long baby. Okay, there we go. And I'll go ahead and do the eyebrows. And I normally do the eyebrows with this little guy, just to have a little more control. This is a tinkle. Not sure if it's a real tinkle. Got to watch your eyelashes too. You don't want to um, accidentally get your eyelashes. But it does just help your eyeshadow go on very nicely to have that area all nice and um, all nice and smooth. Got to really be careful here though. At my age, eyebrows are a premium, so you don't want to accidentally like get one of your tails. Okay, let's go ahead. I'll do this one next. This is my nose hair trimmer. And I love this. I'll link this below the video. I'll link everything below the video. But you just turn it on, a little battery operated. And you just go up in there. And it just gets all those extra, extra nose hairs. And it is funny, but I did not notice this being a problem when I was younger. But now that I'm 50 plus, shall we say, or 60 plus, it is true that you have hair growing in places you don't want it to. And, uh, your hair stops growing in other places, like I never have to shave my legs. I mean, it's crazy, and I used to have to do it pretty much every day. Okay, there is the nose hair, and that looks good. And ladies, we don't think of our nose hair, and every now and then, when you're out in the car, and you look at yourself in that rear view mirror, you go, ah! And you know, the idea of taking tweezers there is not a good thing. So this is really nice to do that. Okay, and I'm going to use the Sonic Smooth here. However, you could just go ahead and use the Tinkle. It really doesn't matter but I do have this and I like it. So anyway, I'll try to do this to where you can see it because I have a mirror off camera here, but basically you just go against the hair and you have hair all over your face. Get rid of that. You don't want to take your, your real hairline off with it. Even though I shave every day, it is amazing how much this gets off. Go there. Let me see. Well, you can't really see it there, lady. Sorry, because it is very fine. I 
get here too. We get a lot of kind of extra eyebrow hairs out to the side here. I also get my nose. And I kind of do this, not really against the hair. Doesn't really matter. Fun to get a lot of hairs right here. I'll do this again. Sometimes I go over in an area twice. And I always want to make sure that I've gotten along the chin line because that is always where you have the rear view mirror factor. When you look in the mirror and you go, oh my God, I've got witch hairs. And I have about three or four here. However, I don't have them here today for some reason. Then I always do my forehead too because this is helpful to make your foundation look great and your powder look good. Oh my, I wish you could feel this, ladies. It just feels baby soft, baby smooth. It's great. This is not a beauty 101. This is like an advanced beauty technique. If you've got a little extra time, or if you're retired like I'm going to be, and you're looking for ways to fill your time, it's kind of fun to do these little extra things that we don't have time to do when we're in our 30s and 40s and have kid to-do lists going. I'll just give it a final once over. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that is how I shave my face. And I don't know if you can see any difference, but I had lots of little fine downy hairs all over my face. And now it just feels baby smooth and baby perfect. I just think this is a wonderful little extra if you want to give your face a treat. Well, that was a look at how I shave my face and keep my whole face pretty much hair free. And if you've never done it before, get started slowly, but do get started. You're not going to grow darker hairs. They're not going to grow in stubblier than they ever were before. But what you will have is you will have a beautifully clean canvas to apply makeup. And also, whenever you shave your face, you're exfoliating quite a bit of those dead skin cells on the surface. And when you see what comes off, you will really be surprised. And it really is true that your greatest skin yet is waiting just below the surface and shaving your face can help you find that. Okay, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in looking and feeling your best, whether you're 30, 40, 50, or 60 like me, then I hope you'll subscribe. And if you could give this video a thumbs up if you like it, I would really appreciate that. Okay, at the end of my video, I always like to give you a little thought for the day, and I'm going to be choosing a card from this Life Loves You card deck by Louise Hay. Absolutely loved her. She has passed from the earth, which is really sad to me because she was an amazing woman, very positive, helped us learn to love ourselves and others. Okay, let's choose a card, hopefully something positive to think about for today. Ooh, I love this one. I love my body. I love my body. It says, do a downward, ah, the cards are falling. Okay, it says, do a downward dog, take a dance class, book a foot massage, be kind to your body today. Friends, I absolutely love this card and it reminds me of something very important, that in our first half, we're very energetic. We don't think twice about running to do this, running to do that, taking a dance class, taking a yoga class, trying new things. And you know, in my second half, I want to make sure that I'm not just kind of sitting on the couch and giving up on life. Because when you give up on life, life gives up on you. And we don't want that. And you know, I was watching some video by Dr. Dre. I absolutely love Dr. Dre, the dermatologist. But she was saying that a lot of women, when they get older, they say, oh, I don't have the energy for that. I probably shouldn't do that because I'm older. No, that's probably not for me because of my age. Let's stop that thinking because we only have the energy in life that we create. And to do that, we always need to keep ourselves flexible and open to new things, open to new physical things as well. So just for today, as you go through your day, think about the things you would like to add to your life and love your body, whether that's doing a downward dog or taking a dance class or getting that foot massage. Take care and be kind to your body today.